Let's open some mysteries. Hello and welcome back to Incredible Investment of Animals with me, Phil. And as I said, let's open some mysteries. So in this video, I'll be opening the mystery bag that I got from Micro Exotics and the mystery box that I got from Bugnut uh, down at the Southwestern Invert Show at Taunton. So let's go ahead and get these uh, mystery bag unboxes unopened and see what I got. Okay, here we go. It's opening up the £25 mystery bag. Uh, from Micro Exotics, so yeah, I got this at the uh, Southwest Invert Show. Uh, so here we go, we've got one tub in here, which is the Porcelio spatulatus times 12. Uh, absolutely fantastic species. Um, great have these now, potentially have the species already, but I'm not 100% sure. But a few people were. Uh, Dumb that potentially mining that I've currently got on not spatula artists. So great to get some more of these just to compare. So, so <clears throat> yep. Um, now I'm not going to count them all in here. I know full well that from Adam and Micro Exotics, there'll be probably m way more than 12 in here. So, um, but yeah, fantastic, fantastic species. Some it's called the uh, the Trilobite Ice Pod. Do look a bit trilobitey. So there you go, that's what I've got for the 25 pound mystery bag from Micro Exotics. Absolutely fantastic. So let's get these guys uh, rehoused. I'm going to keep these separate to the, my others that potentially are or not special so that I can compare and stuff. So just simple setup. Uh, I've actually used the substrate that I got from it, the raffle price from Micro Exotics. And then there's some moss, some rotten wood that Leia of Unusual Pets gave gifted me and some leaflet that she gave me as well. Bits of cork bark, a bit of cuttlefish. I'm just going to basically tip them in again. I'm not really going to count these guys because I, I know I don't need to from, from Micro Exotics. I know they'll be, yeah, probably way more than 12. So, very simple setup. Um, but it should uh, keep them going and uh, hopefully uh, get them breeding uh, really, really quickly. So, next up, we've got the £50 mystery box from Bugnut. So, this will be the first mystery box I got from uh, these guys. I did want to get uh, one of C's, but I wasn't able to have missed out. So, opening this up, I've got this one as soon as I could good and it's absolutely packed full um so we've got all sorts of things in here it's really prepared which they'll come in really handy i think things like that always come in handy and you do lose them occasionally and it's nice to see uh, quite a bit of decor as well i haven't had a mission box um that contains decor too so that's always nice to see it always comes in handy with the natural decor so absolutely fantastic and then as you can see packed full so we've got a vegans declassical vegans Let's have a look at this one. Have to get the lid off. And there it is, a real decent size grown on sling. Um, yeah, nice, nice size one. Looks like uh, probably not not far off molting, uh, possibly. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous little spider. And the currently don't have a vegan, so nice addition to the collection. And we've got even more pieces of decor, absolutely fantastic. You can never have enough decor pieces lying around. As we have a Sazmai. Fantastic. Now I'm going to ignore the, uh, the symbol for female. I'm pretty sure this probably isn't, uh, probably hasn't been sexed. So I think that's probably just an old marking. So judging by the, the size of it, I'm, I'm sure he hasn't actually sexed that one, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. Nice decent size there as well. More decor. Lots and lots of pieces of decor, which is really nice to see. Agent, gotta have an agent. Gotta love agents as well. Fantastic spider. One of my favourites. Uh, again, really decent size. It was a bit caught up there, but it did come down uh, very quick afterwards. I think it was just having a bit of a moment. So, and then we've still got two more spiders in here as well. So, I've had more decor pieces. So. And so we've got a Kilobrachis Fimbriatus. Look at all that webbing. Real heavy webbers. I do love the Fimbriatus. I love all the Kilobrachis we've had. And again, you can see, just about see it there. Again, really decent size. Everything in here was a really good, decent size. And then last but not least, a uh, nice uh, sort of sub-adult uh, Albob. The uh, curly hair, true form curly hair. Um, which I don't actually have a, uh, a decent size true form curly hair. So again, actually be really good. So 
that's what I've got in the box. So all uh, nicely packaged as well, because it was you know just at a show and not posted. Absolutely fantastic. So yep, here's all what I've got. Uh, all this for 50 quid. I, I think that's pretty epic value to be fair. So, um, awesome spiders, you know, yes, you know, some people might say, oh, some of these are fairly basic standard ones, but you know what, you can't go wrong with them. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic and I love them all. So, so yeah, I can be happy with this box. Um, I think it's perfectly, perfectly decent, perfectly good. So, not all of them are going to rehouse because some of these, you know, will be fine in the tubs they're in. Uh, so this AJ, you know, he's still being here for a little bit. Just going to add a little, little bottle cap as a water bowl sort of thing, and uh, some cork bark so you can, you know, have a bit of a hide underneath some cork and stuff uh, if it so chooses. And it'll do, you know, it'll be all right in here for, you know, at least a, a malt kind of thing. Um, so, so, yeah, and then at least it stays labelled. As well, and a few of them I'm keeping them in. Same as the Sazma, I'm going to keep that in the tub that it came in as well. Just basically do exactly the same thing. Well, they're all vented and stuff, so I thought about, I did think about, you know, sort of rehousing, but I kind of figured that actually I was going to rehouse them into stuff that's pretty much exactly the same size, so really, what's the point? Getting, getting a, bit, a bit of cork in there for it just to hide under, fill that little bottle cap for its water jobs are good and for they used to so you know nice and simple you know why rehouse if you don't really need to so uh, for the fin variety so I am going to rehouse this one because obviously it'll, it'll like to vary quite a bit more um, and in here it just hasn't got really the opportunity to, um, you know obviously it's webbed up a nice lot so I'm going to get this out into something that's just you know is a bit bigger for it so so we'll get this open, so it's got you know, a good intro sort of uh, substrate to bury into. And then with my trusty paintbrush, I'm going to just get, move some of the webbing out of the way so we can actually see the spider. And then uh, just going to just gently put pressure just right on the bone right now. You can see it really doesn't really want to move. Um, well, trying to put general pressure, but trying to encourage it to, to walk. Really, really reluctant to, but as you can see as well, although my hand's now in the way, really, really good at a camera angle there, Phil. Um, there was no point that it was going to bolt or anything like that. Um, trying to get it to go, the, you know, the direction I want it to go in, and as you can see, it has no interest in it at all. I'm literally sliding it. So sort of it is absolutely fine. It was just like, no, I'm not quite happy here. Thing. But again, because I'm going, you know, gentle, there we go. And then it just decides to walk in nice and calmly at the end. And then go straight underneath the cork. You know, nice and smooth. That's what we like. It's so, absolutely stunning spider. Love these, uh, love these spiders uh, completely. And then for the vegans, I'm going to house this in. Basically, the tub that the Hidrakis came in, so I've given it a clean off, removed as you know most of the label, so that you know you don't get confused with spiders. Although you shouldn't really get confused between a, a Fimbriatus and a and a Vegans, but you know you don't want them sort of mislabeled either. And then again, just basic, basic setup. Uh, and the others in game, just with the paintbrush, try and get it there. Come on in, and try and just walk it in. There we go, nice and easy. No one again, yeah, it'll be alright in here for at least a malt. Something. And then for the curly hair, going to go into this uh, custom aquarium enclosure that I've had lying around. Uh, I think so, yeah, substrate of yeah a lot of coir. I've got some moss in there. Some of the decal pieces uh, that came in the box as well. So some cork that's partially buried. And we'll get this one in here. It's absolutely stunning. Got, you gotta love an owl bob. So they are really, really nice uh, looking spiders. So they may be basic, but you know, sometimes you can't get better. And here's a bit of a closer uh, view of it as well. Just, you know, just the hairs, and they're just, they are just done. They're really, really beautiful spiders. I mean, the last thing to add is again, trusty water bowl of little bottle cap. So I had a bit of a, so I was like, nope, what are you doing? Okay. So we'll get that water bowl filled up. 
And there we go, nice and simple. Okay, so that was my mystery bag and mystery box unopening. What do you guys think? Personally, I think they were both fantastic. Um, yeah, so £25 mystery bag from Micro Exotics had the Porcelio Spatulatus. Um, absolutely fantastic species. You know, for the amount they're easy worth, sort of, you know, £30, if not a bit more. So, um, so yeah, it's only got value for money there. And what was actually great as well is that I potentially have the species already, um, but not entirely sure. So, I bought what I thought was Borsello Special Artist from a well known breeder of uh, ice pods and stuff, and someone who I would trust knowing their stuff. Um, but a few people have actually uh, suggested to me that potentially they're not special artists. So, having ones from someone else, you know, Michael's was getting really well respected uh, breeder and seller of ice pods, I can then compare myself, uh, the two. So I'm keeping them separate and stuff to have a look. I don't want to mix them just in case. Um, and initially, yeah, they do look a bit different. So potentially, uh, perhaps I didn't have special artists before. And so, um, so it's something that I need to look into and see exactly uh, what I've got in terms of the other species if it's not that. So fantastic to have special artists in any way. So uh, absolutely fantastic. And then... What about that bug nut one? You know, absolutely fantastic as well. You know, £50, well over £50 worth in there. Let's face it, I think, you know, just the curly hair and the finger artist, just those two together would be about 50 quid. So, so then got all the other. So, okay, you know what, speech wise, some people might say, you know what, not necessarily the most exciting, but actually, I think really, really good selection, uh, personally. Um, and actually, I don't have a sort of sub adult. Um, or at least even a decent size, true form curly hair and stuff. So fantastic uh, for me. And then, you know, you never go wrong with an A-Gen or has my, and Fimber Art is probably one of my favourite Akita Brackies as well. So it's great to have another one of those. And again, I don't have um, a Vegans at the moment, so can't, can't grumble at that. Um, so yeah, do check out both Bugnut and uh, Micro Exotics. Um, Bugnut's at most of the shows. So I'm now doing mystery boxes and yeah, safe to say they're pretty epic. So and obviously yeah, Micro Exotics Online is doing a couple of the shows um where he can. So again, yeah, check out him for isopods. Always fantastic, fantastic stuff. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up, pop some comments down below, and if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching, take care, and keep rocking.